Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the SMTP main message activity and what are the issues that uh, I faced it on SMTP message activity so that I can teach you on that so that you people don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, before getting into it, you can see that there were uh, uh, UiPath has provided many mail act mail uh, features here. Just type mail in activities pane. You can see that it is provided SMTP, POP3, Outlook, IMAP, and Exchange, Exchange, uh, Exchange, uh, Exchange uh, uh, mail activities. And uh, among them, uh, actually, if you if you have installed Outlook on your personal machine, then it is much preferred option to go to Outlook activity because it is does not request any kind of uh, configurations okay whereas these uh, smtp out smtp imap and pop3 will request um, configurations okay uh, okay let's get back straight into the, our uh, issue here i created one use case uh, use case is like um, setting up the smtp mail message and what are the issues uh, i'm just sending the mail set using this one i'll send the mail send the mail okay then let's see what are the issues we might get in this and how we can resolve this one okay so let's go back and implement it okay here i have taken this sequence okay from here i have used this smtp mail message directly i have used this i have dropped and dropped on it and you can see the options available okay so I have already had so I don't need to use this in this you can see the options like um, give me a second you can see the options like uh, body subject and all okay now the most important thing in this is to set up the servers and server for gmail is smtp.gmail.com this is most important one after that you need to give the proper port number this is a 465 for gmail accounts okay so this should be the static for everyone and to whom uh, from what account you are sending your email okay i am sending from my account i am giving the password password i am checking it from the variable you can see that i have created one variable okay so and uh, to whom you want to send this one here is the option to whom you want to send i am sending it to one of my friend and i have an option to cc somebody and bcc somebody and here is a good option is one of the good option is like what is the name so when the message is received what is the name that will display on that option is this one okay and uh, subject it is it will ask you for the subject and the actual body this is a subject i have given test automation and actual body i have given okay so these are the things that you need to set up okay just let's uh, just reviewing one more time the important things are the one are uh, i just note down here so that's easy for you to understand uh, configuring configuring uh, configuring smd so the first thing is you need to have a server here for gmail is uh, smtp.gmail.com second thing is port that is 463 i believe 465 okay 465 and the third thing is uh, from what account that is your account account user id and password okay here this you can create some variables variables create variables or uh, you can use you can use you can use the arguments and call them run them And the next one is like to whom you are sending. To whom you are sending, their email ID is needed. And 
51 is optional one uh, subject so it is easy for easy for everyone to understand to understand and the body male body few times they use this one directly and sometimes they will call from external file and they will use that data for uh, for the body okay and uh, what else another optional one is optional one is the username the name that will get displayed once a mail sent to the uh, actual person okay so i have set up all those things let's run our activity just check what is a what is the thing that is uh, let's check the status whether it's running properly or not so you can see that here it's running the activity and i i found this issue okay so so what is the issue the issue here is authentication exception okay so uh, uh, some some kind of security exceptions it is showing okay this is what i found when i tried for first time okay so i'll tell you in in some time okay why how to resolve that before getting into it why it is showing this kind of exceptions why it is showing is like gmail could able to identify who is who is uh, sending the mails and apart from a normal user uh, if you are doing from this kind of applications it will consider it as a low secured apps so there is an option called do you enable low secured apps to access your gmail or not okay so if by default that will set to be a uh, that will set to uh, off mode then you need to on that uh, this is my mail id and you can see that um, you can see I was just refreshing it here. I logged in and I am just refreshing it here now. Uh, there is an option if you go here. There is an option called allow less secure apps. This this is the one is making the issue. Okay. So what is this? Some apps are devices with less secure sign-in technology, which could leave your account vulnerable and you turn off the access for these applications yes it is vulnerable as of now we just enable it on and after some time i'll strictly recommend you all after some time again go to this one and set it to off okay i'll just mention this link so that anybody can understand okay i'll mention this link in uh, our uh, description so that anybody can uh, easily access that now let me run this application and you can see that workflow is now started running now it is generated done so you can see done is a message box that means I have once this activity SMTP mail message activity successfully executed then it went to the done okay so let me check whether it's successfully done or not uh, you can see here uh, what I'll do is I will log into the, uh, the application from this one it went to this one so I am just logging into this one making sure whether the mail came or not okay. See, one mail came which is uh, you can see uh, okay what we can do is there were a couple of mail messages here so i'll delete this and i will run it again so that it's easy for us to understand okay and, uh, yeah it is running now yeah, it's done so i hope this will come i'm just refreshing it once 
so you can see the night time is 9 to 12 now itself and you got this one okay and is there anything that I am doing here you can see this uh, this one okay there is an attachment why that attachment is coming yeah you can see this attachment I am receiving it and just explaining it why it is coming there is an option called attachment in this attachment I have set up that one as a string and there it is it's going to that path and it is picking up that path okay so it is getting attached let me delete that and let me run it for you again so that we could not see that attachment okay so one thing we learned from is it's like it is having an option to send attachment okay so let me execute it that execution completed and let me go to a new one this is a new one okay the down one this is a new one and you can see there is no mail there is no um, attachment game so this is the one uh, only one thing I want to uh, um, specify here is be sure to set up that uh, uh, that setting option that allow less secure apps once that is done just go back to that mail and let's go back to your account and disable this activity because this mail leads to some kind of uh, issues to your account so I strictly recommend everybody to turn off once your purpose is done. Uh, usually these are the things we we'll use um, Outlook, IM, I, I map and Exchange. I hope I'll do uh, other video on other activity on uh, Outlook or Exchange you know, uh, some other time. Uh, as of now we have done this SMTP mail message. I hope everybody understood. Uh, please let me know your comments so that uh, I can I can get back to you on this. Yeah. Okay. I'm Karthik. Same.